If you recall our story about you debugging late in the night with your significant other calling you and you not knowing what to do, let me now come up with a way to avoid all of this. The answer here is explicit debugging. What does explicit debugging mean? It's simple. When you're debugging late in the night, that's usually because you try to keep everything in your head. You're making the hypothesis in your head. You're running the experiments and you're keeping the results of the experiments in your head. This is okay for five minutes. But the longer this goes on, the harder it becomes to actually memorize all of this. And this is why everything gets so intense. You're so concentrated on trying to figure out what's going on. And this is why nobody can disturb you, because then you'd get out of your trance. The alternative to this implicit debugging, where you're keeping everything in your head, of course, is explicit debugging. Explicit debugging at first simply means to write down what you're doing. Make notes of what you see, make notes of what you expect, and make notes of what your current hypothesis is. Common format for this, for instance, is to write down what the input was, or generally what the experiment is, what you expected to see, and what you get instead. You may even want to write down the current hypothesis you're working on, and whether this hypothesis is confirmed or rejected. This way, you keep a log of your actions, and this log gives you multiple advantages. To start, you can always revise what you actually did and what the result was, so you don't have to memorize it, and you don't have to repeat it. Second, you can resume the session at any time, because everything is already written down. You don't have to store this in your head. When your significant other calls you and asks you out for a nice dinner, well, everything is written down, and you can resume the next morning with a fresh mind and a nice dinner on top. The third advantage, however, is that when you write things down and see them again, this often already bears the solution at hand, because forcing you to become explicit frequently makes it clear to you what the problem actually is. So it structures your thinking and it helps you organize your thinking towards successful debugging.